Hey, this is John from Turbot. If you're looking for quick demos of Steampipe, you're in the right place. We're always finding ways to make Steampipe faster. And if you use aggregators to query many connections, you're really going to like this new optimization. When Steampipe maps SQL queries to APIs, it can push filtering down from the SQL layer into the API layer. Now, we've added connection level qualifiers, for example, account ID and region in the AWS plugin. These can now also be pushed down into the AWS APIs. It makes a huge difference when you run a query against an aggregator that bundles many connections, but when your query is really only asking about one of them. In this example, we're aggregating 10 AWS accounts, each of which contains many thousands of SQS queues. Let's look at a query that targets just one of the accounts before the new optimization. And let's use another new feature, verbose timing, to observe the details. Although we only needed 8,500 rows, we fetched 248,000. That's because the account ID qualifier isn't being pushed down into the API. So we're counting queues in all the aggregated connections instead of just the one this query cares about. Now let's switch to a new version of the AWS plugin that's compiled with support for connection level qualifiers and repeat the query. The difference is dramatic. We only query the connection that corresponds to the qualified account ID and only fetch the 8,500 rows that we actually need. To see a real world example, Consider the AWS S3 Bucket Detail Dashboard in the AWS Insights mod. This side-by-side -side video shows it loading before the dashboard was updated to use connection qualifiers on the left and afterward on the right. Before, the relationship between buckets and queues is bottlenecked for the same reason we saw before. The query has to list queues for all accounts before it can narrow down to just the account the selected bucket is in. The unoptimized query is still running long after the optimized one finishes. We're shipping new versions of plugins compiled with support for connection level qualifiers, so you'll see the same effects for subscription ID when using the Azure plugin with many aggregated Azure connections, or with projects when using the GCP plugin. Every time we think we've gotten to the end of Steampipe's optimization journey, we find new ways to make it go faster. If you run queries and mods against many aggregated connections, you're really going to appreciate this one. Thanks for watching. If you want to try Steampipe for yourself, Download it for free today at steampipe.io. See the video description for links and details.